Hey, this is Lake with Metro's Outreach Team, and I am so excited in this video to talk with you about one of my favorite subjects, and it's something that we all have in common. That's right, trash. Now, I wanna tell you a little bit of background just so you know why we're talking about this and why I think it's so interesting. And I work for Metro, which is a regional government in Oregon in the greater Portland area. Here's a map to see kind of what it looks like. Now, in the Metro region, there's actually 24 small cities all around the Willamette and Columbia rivers. That adds up to about 1.6 million people. That is a lot of people sharing this small region. So in my team at Metro, we manage the trash and recycling for the region. So from all the homes and businesses and schools that are throwing things away every day, we pick that trash up and we have to do something with it. So I want to help you see a little bit more of the world behind that trash. Now, the first question that I have for you is how much trash do you think 1.6 million people make in a day? And in order to let you answer the question, I have to give you a unit for your answer. So here's some background. When that trash gets picked up from homes and schools and businesses, it gets taken in garbage trucks to a place called the transfer station. That's right here in town and it has big trash compactors. They smash all the trash into the backs of semi-trucks. Now, one semi-truck fits 60,000 pounds of trash. That's a lot of trash. So my question for you is, how many semi-trucks full of trash do you think get filled up just from the metro region in a single day? The average is about 65 trucks a day with 60,000 pounds of trash each. That is a lot of trash. So one of our goals here is to think about ways to make less trash. Question for you, where does it go? It's being packed into trucks, so you can imagine it's going somewhere. And our trash goes to a place called the landfill. Now, our landfill is actually pretty far away from the Portland metro region. Our landfill is in a small town called Arlington, Oregon, about 140 miles away. So every day, those 65 trucks are making the trip out and back to drop off our trash. Now. I'll zoom in here. If you've never really thought about what a landfill is, it's a place where we store everything you throw away. So the large semi-trucks will dump the trash, the bulldozers will compact it down, another truck will come and dump a load on top, and the pile gets bigger. Eventually the landfill will get full, it'll be covered up, and a new area of land will be dug out to store trash in. Now, the purpose of a landfill is just for storage. It doesn't really ever decompose and turn into soil. So every piece of trash you've ever thrown out in your life is just sitting out there in Arlington. I have a question for you, which is, why do you think that we have landfills? So take a minute, you can speak to share this, you can journal, maybe try to think of a good thing and a bad thing about landfills and try to answer this question, why do we have them in the first place? One reason that I can think of for why we have landfills is to put our trash somewhere. We're pretty lucky. We don't have trash covering our streets, covering our parks. We've taken it all, we've put it in one place outside of our cities. Now, it doesn't ever really disappear though. You notice there's people who have to drive those trucks. There's people working the machinery at the landfill. It stays in the landfill for a very long time. So the trash doesn't really ever disappear. It does go away for us, which is a way to prevent that trash from polluting our neighborhoods, getting into the water, um, but it doesn't really ever disappear. The good news is not everything that we're getting rid of actually ends up in that trash pile. And I know I have kind of a silly picture down here, but I wanted to illustrate for you only about 40% of what we're throwing away in the metro region is actually ending up at the landfill. So if you look at my hands, here's 100% of stuff people are getting rid of, 40% of it going in the truck to the landfill. What's happening to the other 60%? Try to see what you can come up with. Some of that stuff is getting recycled. Some of it's getting reused or repurposed. So maybe a construction project has extra wood. They save those pieces of wood and use them for a new project instead of just throwing them into the dump. And the last one is gonna be composting and yard waste. So letting that organic material turn back into soil and feed new plants rather than just letting the food rot in the trash. Those are huge ways, and I'm sure they're all things that you do every day. So take a minute to kind of close out. I'd love for you to just think about three things that you do to make less trash. And I bet you can imagine even better than recycling, even better than composting is reusing things. And even better than reusing things, right, is just avoiding making the trash in the first place. So I'd like for you to think through three ways that you already know to do that in your own life.